to my channel um, if it's your first time hello um, this video is gonna be kind of chill it's a process I think that's what I'm gonna name this um, so I filmed an entire video <laughs> with this content and the camera was facing the wrong way so you couldn't see me at all but it's okay. Uh, I'm an outward processor. I can't internalize. I have to like talk and hear myself or write and see myself, see, my, see what I'm writing. Um, and yeah, right now, um, right now is not so good of a season for me. Not like a negative thing, but it's not gonna be, I'm not gonna fake and tell you that I'm doing amazing and everything is grand around me. There's a whole bunch of crap going on, <laughs> a whole bunch of nothing. Um, I'll start off by saying um, I was sick a couple of days ago and I'm just now recovering. Apparently it's allergies, whatever. Um, and being sick, I hate being sick. I hate not doing anything. It just makes you feel very like, I wanna say useless. Um, I'm not a huge person on depending on people. I kinda don't like doing that. And when you're sick, you kind of have to. Um, I'm a doer. Kind of do things on my own. Um, my last video, I told you I was learning how to cope with being alone and flying solo. And I'm totally cool with that right now. Uh, that's not the situation. I guess you could call it. It's really windy outside. Um, it's cool though, because you could see the birds. And ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a bird. I've always loved how carefree they were. And I mean, they could fly anywhere, you know? But right now, my, my heart's really in like a silent mode. Um, have you ever pictured or ever seen a picture of like this person like standing on the street and like the traffic just going by and they feel like like they're the only thing that looks still and everything is just kind of going fast well that's how it feels right now um, I feel like everybody's kind of doing their thing and I'm just here, you know? Um, I don't want this to be like a pity video. Don't pity me. Um, I'm just outwardly processing what's going on. And yes, I did it the first time, but I feel like I need to say this to somebody out there who's maybe going through this. Maybe there's multiple people. I think there is. I think there's a lot of us in this place where we don't know what the heck is going on and it sucks to not know what's going on. Um, as you know, I have many, many talents. I guess you could say I work for a lot of, a lot of things. I work, I have many, I have multiple jobs. And one of my jobs is ending for the semester. Um, I got to work with a lot of the kids in the Southside and 
Like, I know where my passion's at, you know? I know where my heart's at. Ooh. I know what kind of field I want to be in. And it's like waiting for the opportunity to arise for me to be there. That was a tree. And it's like, you know how you feel like you got everything? Like, all right, I'm ready to go. You know, it's like going on this trip. And then it's like, hold on, we're not leaving yet. Why? <laughs> Why not, you know? Um... I had this image of, so backtrack, on Tuesday we had the last Bible study for the semester until we start back up on January. And um, at the end of the, at the end of the Bible study, they had the prophetic team come up and, and you got words of knowledge. And um, so I love it, my church, they're just so, like, man, when God speaks, like, they don't hesitate, you know, like, they say it. And I love that. And I got a prophetic word, I got a couple of them, and one of them that stuck out to me was that, that God has you by the hand. You might not feel like this is where your life is supposed to be. Like, is this what it was supposed to be? And Lord says, I have you by the hand. And that's really hard when you don't see things moving. Um, I know I'm supposed to stay still right now and it's very hard. I'm not a person to stay still. <laughs> um, hard again not sad it's the things that God's peeling back that I know I have to face and right now I don't know when that opportunity is gonna come I just know I gotta be ready you know If anybody else is going out, going going through, if anybody's going through something like this, whether it is you feel alone, you feel forgotten, dismissed, we gotta hold on to what God says. We gotta hold on to his promises. We gotta hold on to what he's already said in your life. And if he hasn't said anything, or you feel like he hasn't said anything, start asking him. Start asking him, what does he think about you? And I think that's the only thing getting me through this, is that I know what he thinks about me. So being content in my season of wilderness and it's crazy because we talked about wilderness the whole semester in, in the Bible study course. About how you think, your neural pathways, your wilderness, you know, and that there's beauty in the wilderness. We got to be able to hold fast, like to stand, like hold tight. Like, keep it close. That God says he'd never leave us. Like, he's not going to bail on you. He's not going to abandon you. Because you're not getting it. Or life is throwing its punches. Like, he's, he's getting those hits with you. But he's there with you. Like, he's, he's there with you in that, you know, calling, calling out to him and saying, like, man, I don't know what's going on. But you're with me. 
and I know he's with me. Like there's just like this, like this reassurance in myself that I'm not alone. Might feel lonely and I'm cool with it. But like I said, it's like that person standing in the middle of the road and like the traffic going and like everyone is kind of getting their thing and doing their thing. And you know, I'm gonna be 30 next year. Like I want my life to mean something. I want my life to say something about how good God is. Like the goodness of God, you know? Just, I just, right now, I'm just kind of seeking direction. And maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. But we gotta rest the fact that he's with us. He's with us, he's with you. So if you're going through anything right now, if you're going through a trial, you're going through a season where you're just like, man, I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pray for us right now, okay? So Father, I just thank you for each person that is going through their wilderness, Father. I thank you, God, that we're not alone. I thank you, Father, that you're a dad that's gonna stay there, that you're not gonna leave. And I declare over my life, and I declare over your sons and daughters, that you would move, that you would speak to us, that you would give us visions, you would give us dreams, you would give us insight on what it is and, and, and where it is you're taking us. God, in the moment of our wilderness, We see the beauty. We see the beauty in it. Father, that you would give every person, including myself, peace and reassurance. Peace and reassurance that we're not forgotten. We're not pushed to the side. you're with us, God, that you're with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, it's kind of a random video, I know, but I said that I would, I would record anything that I would see beneficial to you. It's not always going to be fun. It's not always going to be exciting but it's going to be worth it so i encourage you keep your head up stay up stay up in this you're not god didn't say you were beneath he said you were above you're the head and not the tail and nothing can harm us no weapon formed against us can prosper can conquer us You guys are awesome. Take care. I hope you have a great day. And uh, if you have any questions or anything you guys want to talk about, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Um, I appreciate and love you guys so much. And uh, God bless. So